What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back bringing you guys part two for my playthrough on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we got started with this game, chose our starter and started making our way to the first town. And in today's video, we're going to be making our way towards the school and finishing up the introduction. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet content. Considering we got this playthrough, we got guides coming your way. And most importantly, we got ranked battles coming your way. So you do not want to miss out. But yeah, like I said, we're going to be finishing up the introduction. So by the time we're finished, wait, play Clayco. Get over here. Let's go, buddy. Actually, I'm going to just bring him back into Pokeball. But by the time we're finished up today's video, we're going to be opening up the world and being able to do whatever we want. So, yeah. Once you're done the introduction, you can legit do whatever you want as you please because there are three different main stories. And you kind of just roam around, do whatever you want. You really do. But let me show you guys where we're going to be going on the map. We have a brand new area to actually explore, which is going to be right in front of us. And I don't even know what it's called, but we get to explore this whole area right here as we make our way up to the school, which is right here. So, not too bad. Not too bad, so I'm just gonna get right after it. I know there's a few trainers on this route, there's a few Pokemon we gotta uh, see for a Pokedex, and all that good stuff. But seriously, yo, this game has been absolutely amazing. I have another account that I've been uh, grinding on, and I'm gonna start streaming on Twitch. If you guys wanna go check me out, it's Jeans25 on Twitch, over, uh, or I should say, link down in the description below. And also, I have a Twitter page. You guys should definitely go follow my Twitter, because when rental codes and when rank battles start getting going on this channel, I'm gonna be needing your guys' rental codes over on Twitter. But yeah, there's a few trainers on this route. We're gonna be beating them up, all that good stuff, getting the XP, getting all that Pokey dollars, and uh, a few new Pokemon that we gotta check out, which is pretty cool. This guy's gonna send out Bound Sweet. I have a level 12 Foy Coco, and it's kind of weird when I'm playing on this account because my other account, I already have a uh, the final evolution of Foy Coco, and I have like almost a full team, and I'm doing really good. I'm I'm pretty far in the game. I'm pretty far in the game because I've been grinding it. I've been absolutely grinding it. But uh, for you guys, this would be day one for a lot of you guys. So. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys are enjoying it, if you guys picked it up yet, if you guys are waiting to pick it up. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. But, um, do I? I don't have Maridon, which sucks. I do not have Maridon. I got its name, uh, actually, I don't have Karidon. I kept, I keep getting its name wrong. I do not have Karidon, Maridon. In the other game, I'm, like, running around with Karidon, kind of doing my own thing, killing it. But something that you guys want to start doing more is actually using your, uh, auto attacks to get a lot more materials. It is really, really a helpful tip. And uh, helps you get a lot of different materials while you guys are playing this game. Is that a new Pokemon? Do I have a Sunkern? I don't think I I don't know if I have a Sunkern, but I'm going to just... Oh, I guess I do have a Sunkern. Or I didn't have a Sunkern. But if you defeated... Uh, oh, there's Pachirisu. I actually want to fight this thing. Now, where's my Pokemon at? I want to fight this Pachirisu. Mwah. Yo, it's going up in a tree. Yo, look at this thing. <laughs> it's climbing the tree. It looks so weird, yo. Again, like the graphics are real whack. Can I hit this thing with a Pokeball? Can I, like, hit you with a Pokeball? Pretty sure I did in the last game. There we go. Lock him in and bop. Hit him up with a Pokeball. He's going to hop from the tree. You're going to be able to battle him. You can catch him if you want to. I'm just going to take him out. Just add him to my Pokedex and uh, grab all that XP. And we're just going to fly. Bop. Bring him down. Give me the burn. No burn. He's going to growl me. Come on now. I'm a special attacker. Get better. Get better. And we're coming out here again. And I was picking the KO. Kind of sad that we didn't. But another big thing that we're doing in today's video is uh, we're going to make our way to the main town. The main town's awesome. The main town is really cool considering there's a bunch of different shops. It's huge. There's a lot to do in there. And most importantly, when you finish up the introduction, you unlock the new uh, mechanic, which is terrestrialization. So we're going to be doing that in today's video, which is awesome. I absolutely love the feature. Look at all these hobbits around. That's why I like to, I like to auto attack them. And my Fue Coco just goes off. Like, look at him. He KO everything. <laughs> he just starts ripping into them. You get a little bit of XP. It's nice. But uh, more importantly, like I said, you get a bunch of those uh, materials. And materials are used for uh, TM. Or like doing TMs. Oh, this is a new Pokemon. Come on. Yo. Fight Coco. Get back here. We gotta fight this thing. A little Shrewdle over here. Grafia's first stage. But yeah, materials are good for uh, crafting all the TMs and all that good stuff. Actually, do I... Did I fight the Shrewdle yet? I don't think I have. I don't think I've seen one yet. Let's scratch me. How dare you. This is solid level Shrewdle. Level 7. Take that XP. Get it on out of here. But the team I want to use for this playthrough... I don't think we're gonna get our first Pokemon for a little bit. A little bit. So we're just going to be grinding for Coco and all that good stuff. And most likely it's second stage. Until we get our first Pokemon. Which is going to be a cool one. I love the Pokemon in this region. I think this game is so good too. I know a lot of people are complaining about the graphics. But that is like the only bad thing I feel like you could say about this game. Everything else about this game has been perfect. In my opinion. Everything else has been incredible. Again, there's some frame rate drops. All graphical issues. Nothing too crazy. But other than that, I would say this game is near perfect. 
near perfect without the frame drops, without the graphical issues. It's just insanely good. The open world aspect, the uh, the battle system, I think like the storylines and everything about this game is just great. And the ability to obviously do whatever you want when you want. And, and on top of that, the map being so big that you can legit play in one area for hours. It's just it's just uncomparable to any other Pokemon game. And I remember my friend was like, oh wait, there's a Bonsly. Come here, Bonsly. I wanna fight you. I remember my friend was just like, Yo, how is it like compared to the other Pokemon games? Is it like Sword and Shield? Like, how's it like? I'm like, dude, it's like no other game you've ever played before. Because it is totally different. It is legit totally different. Give me the burn. Why did, why did he use that? He's gonna rock through me. Yo, chill on me. Oh, you know, he might take out my Foy Coco. I'll take out my Foy Coco. Let me bite on you. I think two bites should be able to pick up KO. Well, maybe not. Give me a flinch. Woo! Jeans gets a flinch, baby. Give me another flinch. Let's go, Foy Coco. I need you here, buddy. Give me another flinch. Rock throw. Can you eat that? You can. I love you, Foy Coco. That's why you're my dog. You're my boy. Look at him popping off right there. We're going to take out the Bonsly. And we're going to get rolling with this route. So what I want to do with this route is just like kind of like run around it real quick. Um, defeat Pokemon that we haven't defeated before. And then on top of that, defeat all the trainers on the route because you get all the Poke Dollars and your Pokemon gets all those levels. I'm going to heal this dude up and I'm going to go. I don't think I battled one of the trainers over here. Let's go do it. I battled the first trainer, which I guess it's back there. Yeah, there's the first trainer. The second trainer should be right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I'll hop it up there. I love the Pokemon that fly too. You should be chilling. You like look above you. Like, hey, yo, look at this Pokemon. Oh, I beat this guy. I beat this dude. He had the uh, little Choodle. But I know there should be another trainer over this way, right? If I remember correctly, because I explored a lot of these areas like fully in depth in my other save file. But yeah, there should be a trainer over here, and I do see him already. What we got there? Scatterbug, Lechonk. Lechonk. <laughs> I love that Pokemon, man. I remember when they first showed it, everyone was like, dude, this thing's sick. He's so sick. Uh, and we got this guy right here. And I forget what Pokemon this he has. He might have a Magohita. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Alberta the Worker. How you doing, dude? There's a Shinx. And I, now I remember the Shinx. Now I remember the Shinx. But we're going to send out our Foy Coco. We're going to get Embering. And we're just going to rip into this thing. Two Embers should pick up the KO. Right, Foy Coco? Oh, one. Say less. <laughs> Say less, dude. One. <laughs> I was like, two Embers should pick up the KO. He's like, nah, yo, I got you, Jeans. Let me just drop a big old ember right into this dude's mitt. Gets a crit too. Lovely. It's awesome getting crits uh, when you're not playing rank. Because you feel bad when you get it when you're playing like rank and competitive. But when you're just like playing up against like computer and stuff. You're like, yeah, yo. Give me that crit. We got Fletchlings here. Um, I might just beat up this Fletchling right here. Get him out of here. I'll call. I'll call my Pokemon back. But he's over there. I oh, know I called him back. I was going to say he's over there just beating up everything else. Now, I don't think there's another Pokeball over here. I know you can actually go over this ledge, but you need, uh, you need Coridon or Maridon, depending on which game you have. But yo, look at my boy Lechonk. <laughs> He's just so plumpy. <laughs> you cannot go wrong with him. You cannot go wrong with him. What we got here? Is that, a, is that the spider Pokemon? It is. Tarantula. My Coco, get him. All right, so we'll take him out, and I'm going to actually head... There's, there's a, The last trainer is supposed to be right here, but there's more on the other side. I'm going to go defeat the other side trainers before we actually uh, face this last trainer, because this last trainer is supposedly the hardest, but he's not hard at all. He's not hard at all. He's just chilling there. I could heal up my Pokemon, but no need. I feel like we're fine. <laughs> but that's something they added in this game that I really do like. Is like, you cannot... like It's up to you if you want to verse the trainers or not. You don't have to verse the trainers if you don't want to, but I feel like... It's just a thing you have to do, like, to level up your Pokemon. If you don't, I feel like you're going to be un under level. Yeah, it's, it's very cool, though. I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. A lot of late chunks over here. There should be some, a few other Pokemon that i got to find. A lot of Fletchlings. And here's another trainer over here. Get this, though. In my other save file, when I first headed out to, like, the open world explore area, I kid you not, like, the first 10 minutes, I found my first shiny. First shiny already, 1 in 4,000 odds, I found a shiny Skiddo. It was awesome, but they don't shark sparkle in the main world and make a noise or anything. You just have to notice it with your eyes. And I looked, I was just like, I was in battle and I see like a, a white Skiddo walking behind in the background. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. Skiddo's not white. I'm like, let me go up to him. I was like, is this thing shiny? Check it out. I'm like, yo, it's shiny. Ended up catching it, sitting in my PC. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I might add it to my team, to be honest with you guys. Because I'm using a uh, Breloom as my grass type Pokemon because I absolutely love Breloom. I think it's one of my favorite grass types, and it has fighting on top of that. 
But Skiddo and Go Go Shiny would be awesome to use on a team. Maybe I might maybe I might switch it, even though I already have my boy leveled up. We'll see, we'll see. But we take out that trainer. We got Tarachula going around there. We got Le Chonk doing a little bit of runs. Le Chonk. Just so funny its name. Just oinking around here. <laughs> We get this potion. We're gonna head over to this top route and then go back to the bottom route and walk the bottom route up, defeat the rest of the trainers, and then we are going to go right into the school, finish up that main story and all that good stuff, and get over there. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a pot up here. Looks like I gotta backtrack. Can I catch that Surskit? <gasps> Paldea and Wooper. I love Wooper. I love Paldea and Wooper. Can I? Can I virtue? I can. I can virtue Surskit. What's up? I think I get a little inflatable tube. No, what are you doing in the water? Look at him! <laughs> He's just chilling there! <laughs> He's just chilling in the water. I guess the game didn't register him in the water. No! Yo! Where'd he go? <laughs> Yo! Yo! What is, what is going on? Look at him down there! <laughs> He's underwater! <laughs> Boy Coco! <laughs> he slid down the water. <laughs> Alright, uh, you're back here. That, that, that was hilarious. Now that's the part I'm talking about with like the glitches and all the uh and all the graphical issues. <laughs> he just slid underwater. <laughs> I thought he was gonna die. He was just chilling there. Little Floyd Coco. Buried in the bottom of the pond. <laughs> like my boy. I was like, yo, what's going on here? That's too funny though. That is way too funny. Got Lay Chunk chilling by the tree. And sometimes you can catch Lay Chunks just like uh sleeping. And it's actually actually really cool it's actually really cool because they're just like laying there snoring and you see like the z's pop up on the screen like they're sleeping you're just like dude what is that and you look around you're like oh it's just lay chunk it's just lay chunk chilling there okay so we can't go here this is more so for like a karaidon hopping up on too kind of thing i'm gonna go back here i'm gonna make my way back to the path i'm gonna head up towards the school head up towards the school hello pokeball here but this is this is basically like the game right here which is amazing. This is only a small area. The areas get 10 times bigger, but you can legit run around, do your own thing, battle more trainers. It just gets so much fun once you get done the introduction, even though this is already pretty good. It's actually a lot of fun right here. Miss Pokeball. What I just hit? Oh my God, dude. And that's, that's an annoying part about this game. It's not a bad part about this game, but you run into some of the tiniest Pokemon ever. I'll be in like tall grass over in the open world and there's little Nimbles, the new bug type Pokemon. They're like crickets or like grasshoppers, whatever they are. You legit walk in no ball time. All time. Yo, there's a gimme ghoul. There's a gimme ghoul back behind that sign I gotta get. And explain to you guys the gimme ghoul kind of purpose. But this, this is, uh, challenger's gonna throw out a nice lovely little Azuril. And it's only level 4 and we're just gonna rip into it around. I just need a Poke Dollars. The, the money and the, uh, and the XP is really nice. And I, on top of that, I like the battle on the trainers. I'm a big trainer guy. But Coco's gonna get 11 XP. We'll take it all day. And he has two Pokemon. Ooh, a Hound Dower. Hound Dower? Hound Door? What do you guys call it? I call it a Hound Door. But I know a lot of people call it Hound Dower. Why don't I go for a round there? Dumb dumb jeans. You're gonna leer me. How dare you? You're gonna leer me. And I'm just gonna round you out. And hit you with the roundabout, baby. Get it. Pop. See you later, alligator. Even though I'm the alligator or a crocodile. Wait, Coco, dude, this Pokemon's so cool. I love the starters. I want to get a Foy Coco plush. I just feel like he would stand there perfectly. <laughs> like, the way he's, like, positioned. But if you come over here, you're going to see a Gimme Ghoul right here. Look at him. That is a Gimme Ghoul. That is a new Pokemon, actually. And what these Gimme Ghouls do around the map is you can obviously hear them, like, clinging around their chain or their coins. But if you talk to them, they disappear and you get Gimme Ghoul coins. And I don't know if you can spend the Gimme Ghoul, ghoul coins... But the only way to evolve a Gimme Ghoul into its uh, golden form is with 999 Gimme Ghoul coins. So whenever you see Gimme Ghouls, pick them up if you're trying to complete the Pokedex. But I don't know if you could spend them to do anything else besides evolve your boy. I feel like you have to be able to get something cool because they're scattered all around the map, Gimme Ghouls. And every single uh, watchtower that you go up into, there's a treasure chest and there's a Gimme Ghoul. And when you defeat it, you get 50 Gimme Ghoul coins. So always go up into the watchtowers, always defeat your Gimme Ghouls. Do all that good stuff. <laughs> And more importantly, catch a Gimme Ghoul first. Catch a Gimme Ghoul first. Big old Ember comes through here. I love Gulpin, though. I always love Gulpin in Gen 3. Especially when it evolves into Swalot. 
Swalot. Really cool Pokemon. Just a big sludge ball. It's kind of like the newer... It was like, at the time, it was the newer Muck. It was like, we need another blob of gunk Pokemon. And it was like, let's make Gulpin and Swalot. And it worked out perfectly. It worked out perfectly. <laughs> well, we got a few Pokeballs over here. Yeah, what is that? That's a Squibat. I think I have a Squibat. I'm going to kill it, though. And I'm going to do that. And let's see my Pokedex update. Does not. We already have a Squibat. Alright, you know, forget, you gotta you don't gotta kill every single Pokemon around here. He <laughs> just starts teeing off. The auto battle features layers. Something they added with the auto battle feature is if there's a shiny, your Pokemon will not kill it. So props to Nintendo or Game Freak uh doing that. Really huge props. But there should be another trainer up here, I thought. Did I miss him? I just defeated him. Where's the wait, where's the gimme goal sign? Actually I did not defeat him. Come here, dude. What was here though? I thought I saw something. <gasps> I don't have this in my other game. Come here, dude. Oricoro. Right? This is Oricoro, right? Oricorio? How do you pronounce it? Oricorio. I think sick. Level 8. That's a high level. There's a Pokemon floating around here. Let me burn. It's gonna pound me. It's got like little cheerleader pom poms on its hands. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. Let's Ember again. Bop it up. And we'll make that thing faint. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Alright, cool. 159 XP. I love it. And we add it to the Pokedex. Did we verse you, old man? We did. You already trashed on this dude. I didn't even... I, I forgot already. I forgot already. But I don't even have an Oricoro in my other game. So, good to know it. So I guess there's a rare spawn here. It's got to spawn in other spots too, right? It'll make the most sense. But with that trainer done, we have one more trainer left, I believe. And this Tarasula is about to get it. We have one more trainer left on this route. We're going to go defeat him. And then we're going to go head to the school and finish up the introduction. And maybe be able to run around uh, in the open world for a little bit. I'm not too sure. The schooling kind of takes a, a little bit. Well, we might skip through a little bit, too. But hello, trainer. We need to beat up on you. You're the last guy I got to beat. You are the last guy I got to beat. And I feel like uh, we have a, tr uh, a rival battle with what's her name? Uh, what's, what's her name again? Nemona. But a Ruka D comes out. Yo, I, I like Ruka D and Cooler Knight's uh, evolution line. I think it's unnerved. I can't eat berries. I think I'm not holding berries. And I'm gonna drop an ember. Dip, dip, dip. Dude, I have the stuffiest nose right now. I do not know why. You guys are gonna hear me do a little bit of sniffle sniffles. <laughs> but finish off that. Give me your Pokemon money. 558. Dope. And now, now I can heal up my Pokemon and head right to the school. I'm all about it. Oh, and another thing is, these guys are chilling here all the time. When you defeat a certain amount of trainers in that area, he's going to give you a little bit of rewards. Sometimes it's TM, sometimes it's other things. This one is going to be a TM, and it's going to be Thunder Wave. A little bit of Thunder Wave action. It's not bad. I do like the TM machines, though. I am a big fan of the TM machines. And you can just go in there, craft TMs, and go from there. I wish we were able to like, craft different items still, but crafting TMs is pretty cool. Instead of, like, you can just find them around the world, but... It was like better than uh, having like only one TM in the world. Cause that's what would happen in the last game. Like, oh, you can only get EQ once. And you're just like, oh, dude, I want EQ on like five of my Pokemon. <laughs> and it kind of sucked. But with that trainer done and our Pokemon healed, we can head towards the schooling, the academy. And look at this giant door. That's how you know this place is legit. When you have a giant wooden double door. It looks so sick. You just push it open. You just like push that thing open. Well, there's the lucky lady. What's up, Nemona? He's showing here, and I believe we have a battle with her, right? And I believe it's like super easy because she got a uh, Sprigatito. Yeah, yeah, she wants a battle. She wants to fly Coco Smoke. She wants it. She wants it. <laughs> I told her, I said, hey, yo, your Sprigatito is going to die. And it's not going to be pretty, but I warned you. I warned you. So. Amona sends out the Sprigatito. We get out of Foy Coco. And I'm going to just chop up on this thing with an Ember. I should learn Incinerate really, really soon. Or is that what I evolved? I'm not too sure. I get a lovely little Ember going. I'm level 14 already, which is awesome. And look at that. Sprigatito gone. Poor little adorable grass cat. Look at that one shot. And she might have two Pokemon. I didn't even check. Let's see you later, Sprigatito. How much XP we get? Should get a nice chunk. 59, that's it. That's it. Come on, Sprigatito. You gotta give me more than that. 
Yeah, this she has a palm. A little bit of palmy action. To ember this thing down again. And I think this thing can actually uh, survive a shot. She said palm is her ace. Oh. She has terror already? What what what, what type of change? Electric? Yeah, I don't remember the first time I versed her. She had terror. In my other game. That's weird, but still, we're gonna do some damage here. She's gonna hit me with an electric terror blast. How dare you? Let's use it. Terraslide. Yeah, so I love the feature. I think it's a really cool gimmick. I'm a big fan of it. He's gonna thunder shock me. I should be able to soak that up. It's gonna do a nice chunk. <clears throat> I actually only did 10. Thought I was gonna do a lot more. Sorry, Palmy, you're dead. I have to finish you off with Ember. I have to finish you off. But yeah, with the terrestrialization, if you use it as your same type, it does double damage. So if I use it with uh Flake Coco, when he has fire, he's gonna be able to tee off here. But something I didn't check was Flake Coco's stats and nature. My other one's not too bad. My other one is not too bad. My other Flake Coco. But maybe we get its hidden ability. That's rare. People grind and try to like keep soft resetting to get the hidden ability. But the problem with the newer games is going for the hidden ability is you kind of just uh, have to wait for the ability capsule because like you have to grind 20 minutes to even get your starter whereas older games was like five minutes not even we take out Namona, and we're going to be heading on to schooling but i want to see my uh boy coco stats because i know i'm going to forget i know i'm going to forget so got to keep it in the back of the mind got to keep it in the mind but the schooling part's kind of Kind of just like a waste of time. It's kind of for people who like don't know how to really play Pokemon. So there's like classes you can take that uh kind of teach you things about Pokemon and like typing advantage, all that good stuff. But if you're an expert like me, you don't need that. You just, you just want to go out into the open world. Like there should be a button like, yeah, I know how to do everything. Or like, I played this game before. <laughs> Where you can just skip the schooling part. But look at this area. It is absolutely massive. Shop galore. You can legit buy pretty much any item here. It's really good, and especially when you expand your game and beat other gyms, get new badges from defeating the Titans or the uh, Team Star. The shops upgrade too, and you get better items in the shop, which is absolutely amazing. But this place is just gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love how this is just like the center of everything. It's huge, has everything designed perfectly. It's got a few cool Pokemon floating around, like Swablus. I love Swablus. But there's the hair salon. She lets you know that there's a few shops. There's one shop in here and on other uh, towns slash cities called Deli Bird Presents, and that is like the best shop. It's the best shop because it has all your battle items in there. All the good ones. Like you can eventually get assault vests there, light clays, hard rocks, you get your wise glasses. And I think they have a few things here, which I might go buy one, but it might not be anything crazy. I think they might have charcoal ready to go, which I might buy for my Flight Cocoa or even wise glasses. I think they might have wise glasses early in the game. I'd rather have wise glasses than charcoal so it can boost up my all my other moves. All my other special attacking moves, I should say. But before I forget, we are going to check my Flight Coco stats. Go into no, not the boxes. What are you doing, jeans? It's all good. We have a late chunk chill in there. <laughs> We're gonna go into Flight Coco. We're gonna check your summary and let's see it. Moment of truth. That hurts. It's jolly. Which is good for, not really, because this thing's a special attacker. I want a new ability. I think I can find, I think you can find a, a mint around here. So, when I get the chance, I'm going to change this thing's ability. It's got blaze, but, oh, Foy Coco. Foy Coco, why you gotta be jolly? You're a special attacker. That hurts the soul. That definitely hurts the soul. Look at that, yo. We got some combis. We got some combis, but I'm going to head over to Deli Bird Presents. It's actually down here. Bird presents, my fault. You call it presents. But come over here. The Deli Bird store should be right on this wall, right? Correct, jeans? I believe it is. It is. It's right here. You can see Deli Bird. Good old Deli Bird. So I'm gonna hop in here. And I'm gonna hit battle items. And look what they got. They got charcoals, they got silk fresh, and they do have wise glasses. Might buy these. AK, I'm gonna buy it. I really like the wise glass on Flake Coco. Perfect. So if you need some battle items, it works out perfectly. I'm going to give him the wise glasses to make him do a bit more damage. And then once I get a, a mint, a nature mint, I'm going to give it to him. I'm not dealing with that. Where is my battle items? 
Here it is right here. Oh, we got some XP candies too. There you go, Flicker Go. Wise Glasses gives you that 1.2 times multiplier for your damage. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. But yeah, Nemona says, hey, uh, Jeans, you can go check out this place. Check out the stores, all that good stuff. When you're done, go meet me at the top of the schooling. So we're, we're kind of done already. I don't really think there's anything else we can we want to do here. We have all of our items. Our Pokemon is healed, right? Correct. Yeah, we're chilling. So I'm just going to head to the top. Go get Nemona. And this is where we actually unlock Terrestrialization, which is cool. But something I really like is this circle right here. It shows all the typings of Pokemon. Really, really cool. And it just shows how big this game is growing. There's so many typings. So many typings. Rocks and rocks. But yeah, we're going to do the Rocky Stairs. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> We're Rocky staring it. We make our way up here, and there's actually a person that plays a pretty big part in the story. Not these guys. That girl right there with the uh, blue and red hair. She's all about uh, the team star kind of main story. Does this name Mona pop out here? I thought this was the part where we uh, fight with Nemona. And she teaches us about terrestrialization. But it might be up at the top more. I know there's a decent amount of talking with, with this schooling thing. So, again, I might skip or we might just speed through and chat it up with you guys. We'll see. We'll definitely see how it goes. Now, these guys are just dipping, I believe. Or are we fighting them? I would love the battle. Oh, we are battling. Sick. Sick. Get them on out of here. Like, she's going to challenge me. What Pokemon you got? You got a Shrewdle. That thing's gone. Come out wise guys ready to roll. I think he's gone. Yeah, I believe there's a nature mint once you get out to the main story. Find a nice little hasty mint, as I recall. I have a pretty good memory. I have a pretty good memory. Nice little hasty mint. I forget what hasty does, but it's got to be better than... uh. It's got to be better than minus on special attack for a special attacker. I would love to get that special attack up. Oh, the sweet. We get to learn incinerate. It's solid. We're going to replace it with ember, and we're going to roll off from there. So incinerate's basically just a heavier hitting ember with no chance of burning. But it takes out, it burns any berry that a Pokemon's holding. So for like gym battles and stuff, it actually works out really well. So because like I feel like a few gym leaders have uh have berries on their Pokemon. So just by taking off the berry with incinerate, it's perfect. It's lovely. But is this guy gonna battle me? Oh, there's Namona. Yeah, hey, what up, girl? How you doing? That's the exact thing I was talking about. But she comes over here, she runs into us with a battle, and she's gonna give us the item that we oh so love. We're gonna get the Terror Orb. And Terror Orb's sick, but I'm not too sure how it works fully, because I think you can only Terror one time before you have to heal it up. And you can only heal it up by going to a uh, shop, I think. But it's such a cool item. Look at that item. So sick, it looks so sick. But yeah, I, I think it has to be like regenerated health. So once you use it, you have to, uh, you have to, what's it called? You have to regenerate it before you can use it again. So you can't just go into every single battle using it. So before you go into a big battle, make sure your Terror Orb is ready to go. But the effects of Terror Orb is pretty simple. It just adds a stab move to you. But if it's already your typing, so since Play Coco is fire, stab is usually a 1.5 times boost. And since fire is already your stab, it goes to double instead of 1.5. So if I had a Dark Terror Play Coco, since dark isn't my typing, it would only be 1.5 times damage. But since I have fire, it's going to be double. So I'm going to terrestrialize here. I'm just going to incinerate. Getting it off here, baby. And I think the animation is sick, too. Look at that, yo. Give him that little terrestrialization. Bang. Looking so sick. It's legit glass. It's so cool. It's so cool. Incinerate's going to come out here. It's double damage. And I think it should take him out one shot, right? Get him on out of here. Young Goose, you gone. Poor Young Goose. I do dig that Pokemon, too. I think it's really cool looking. A little Young Goose action. So get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. So, we defeat the first route. We get the Terror Orb. All we have left is to do is schooling. And then the world is ours. The world is ours. Which is huge. That's why I can't wait for next episode. Because next episode, I can do whatever I want, when I want. And it's just going to be like a whole different playthrough. But that's what's so good about this game. is like everybody's playthrough isn't the same. Everyone's playthrough is different. Why well, is her one eye closed? What just happened? Did she get hit? Like, her one eye was closed. Or was that just the game being glitched? Because the game is messed up sometimes.
All right, let's move on. Cool. To the school. So many stairs, man. Imagine I have to walk up these stairs like every single day for class. I would never go to school. I'd be like, yeah, I would look at the stairs and be like, yeah, this ain't happening. I ain't doing it. But look how weird their animations look when they're going downstairs. Actually, I ain't too bad. When you were moving, it looked weird. I ain't too bad. It's all going on for no reason. But look at this place. It's gorgeous. But look at that person moving. It looks all glitchy. That's a, that's a, that's the thing with the graphics. It looks real weird. But the Psyduck moves pretty well. All about Psyduck moving. You guys will see more graphical issues inside the school. It just looks so weird. This guy doesn't look bad when you're up close. But yeah, when you're in the school, you're going to see like somebody like kicking their legs under the desk. And it looks atrocious. It looks like it's at like three frames a second. I'm over exaggerating, but it, it, the frame rate drop is immense. It is immense. But here we are at our school, and this school is huge. Look at all them books that nobody reads. Nobody reads those books. Like, why? Like, I never understood the libraries like this. They put books on, like, that the top is top of shelf. There are libraries with, like, bookshelves like this. But they put books on the top is top of shelf. The only way to get them down is a ladder, as you guys can see on the left side. And, like, who reads the books on the top? Who's like, yeah, I want that one up there. You can't even see the title. <laughs> like, you're just like, I want that one. Like, nah, yo, get out of here. Get out of here. You ain't getting that book. Pick something from the bottom shelf. <laughs> but yeah, you make it to the school year, and basically what the schooling does is you have like one little class, and you kind of just answer a question. And uh, another thing you do here is you kind of you get you get the quest. That's what you do. That's the main part of being at school. You get the three main storyline quests that you, that you talk about what you have to do for them. You get the Titan quest, you get the gym leaders quest, and you get the team starfall quest. So that's what it's all about. And these loader screens are pretty long too. Actually, that one wasn't bad. But we head to our first class. Now look at the people kicking under the desk. This is what we're talking about. Look at the dudes kicking under the desk, like right below my face cam. What is that? Come on. There's, you gotta be better than that. You guys will see another camera angle of it in a second. It's bad, it's bad. But again, that's the only problem with this game. Some graphical issues, pretty much it. But I'm a new student. They make me come in here and introduce myself. Like, come on now. I don't want to do this. Let me sit down and do it. Like, yo, look at the kid's leg. Like, what? What is that? What is that? <laughs> come on, Game Freak. <laughs> come on, Game Freak. They can do so much better with the graphical issues. They did do a day one patch, though. To try to help it out, but it didn't really do much. Like, I don't know why they would even add it. I would just have the kids sit still. Like, wouldn't you think just to have the kids sit still instead of kicking their legs like that? Right? I think I would. But, nonetheless, game's still phenomenal. Game's still really fun to play. But there we go, we introduce ourselves, and now we can get to know the academy by going to other rooms, and that is exactly what we want to do. We want to head to three rooms to get the three missions, and we're going to go hang out or go to a different room right now. So which one should we go to? We'll go to the cafeteria to get things started. And the cafeteria. And at the cafeteria, my guy, yeah, he's right here. He just spawned in, as you guys can see. You can talk to the guy that you actually battled to get the uh, Karaidon ball, or the Maraidon ball. Either or, and he is going to actually give you the mission of the Titans. Now, what the Titans are, there are five big monstrous Pokemon. They're like abnormally big, and you gotta go down, defeat them. And when you defeat them, that is actually when you get upgrades to your Karaidon slash Maridon. So, at first, you can only ride your Karaidon or Maridon. In my case, I'm just gonna say Karaidon. You can only ride your Karaidon normally, but when you start beating Titans, you unlock abilities like being able to dash with your Maridon, being able to go on water with your Maridon, being able to fly on your Maridon, and then being able to climb on your Maridon. But that's only four. I do not know what the last one is. Not too sure. But yeah, Maridon gets all upgrades by doing the uh, Titans. So you're going to want to do the Titans because it allows you to traverse the land a little bit easier and a little bit smoother. So some people actually do the first Titan first just so they can uh, unlock the dash ability. But for me, I actually like to do the gym first and then slide back and then do the Titans. Or the first Titan. Because you can do the gym, because the first gym's on your left side and the first Titan's on your right side, so you get to decide which one you want to do first. I like to do the gym, go over here, then go over to the Titan, and right next to the Titan is another gym, so I can kind of go for two for one. So I'll go first gym, Titan, gym, and then I'll kind of go from there. But yeah, what I've been doing in my other playthroughs, I've been banking back and forth. Kind of going side to side, defeating gyms, defeating titans, and then going back to the other side, doing the same thing. 
but he puts up the five titans we have a dragon titan we have a ground titan we have a flying titan we have a rock titan and we have a steel titan and that is called the path of legends that is what the mission is called the path of legends so again three main stories this is one of them yeah, look at Combi, yo. Is Combi serving up breakfast? <laughs> I just love how Pokemon, like, are used for, like, humans. They're just chilling there for breakfast. Like, hey, yo, you need honey? Then they just spit in your food. <laughs> like, you need honey? Sure thing. Spit in your food. But there we go. Finish up that. We're getting a call on a Rotom phone. And this is about... This is some mysterious person that you do not know who it is. And... Well, the name's Cassopia. And they tell you about the second storyline, which is going to be the Team Star battles. So Team Star is basically like the, the group of rivals in this game. The bad people in this game. Or actually, bad people in this game. That you have to go over and kind of defeat their bases. All that good stuff for the main story. So, as you guys remember, in the other game, you had, uh, what was it, Team Yell? I think Team Yell was in Sword and Shield. And you had to go over, beat them up, and kind of do things from there. Which isn't too bad. But we're going to talk to Clavel here. He's going to say some things about Team Star. And I just want to get moving on, man. I'm so sick of the Academy. I'm so sick of the Academy. Over it. I'm over it. That dude's eating a sandwich. <laughs> With this weasel. This lovely little weasel. So we get done that. And now I think it brings us to like the lobby, right? Yeah. And I have to go over here now and just go to one of these uh, these little floor things. And you want to take it to the... Uh, yo, why are you clutching, dude? And you want to take it to the next floor. Which will be the staff room. Or do I go to class? No, you want to go to staff room. You want to go to staff room, talk to uh, Nemona. And she's going to give you the gym leader quest, which is going to be nice. Nice and perfect. And then after that, you're almost set to leave. You're pretty much almost set to leave. I think you have to talk to Naimona, talk to Clavel once again, and then they're like, they just kick you on the road. They're like, hey, yo, you can get after it. You go that way. But there's a trainer right there, and I believe she's like a high-end trainer. I think she might be an either a gym leader or in the Elite for later in the game, because I just remember seeing her base from Elite or something like that. But we talked to Naimona right there, and she tells us exactly what that lady just told her, and she comes to talk about the gym leaders along the island. So there are eight right now but i believe i heard something about being there being 16. so maybe there's eight post game maybe there's eight post game because they originally give you eight they originally give you eight so what i'm thinking is you do eight you do the leaf four and then post game you get eight more of like the best of the best trainers or maybe the gym leaders upgrade kind of like how uh, they did in diamond and pearl or i say brilliant diamond and shiny pearl because once you beat all the eight gyms in the leaf four you can go back and actually versus trainers again or the gym leaders again and they were better, they were stronger, they had items, their Pokemon were like EV trained, IV trained, all that good stuff. So maybe maybe it's like that. Maybe it is like that. But there we go. Finished talking to her, she's gonna give us that quest. It's gonna put a little border around us. Yeah, yo, it actually looks cool. I love when you get the quest. It, gives, it puts us all on the map. There's all the gym leaders. You have the grass gym. You have the bug gyms. Those are like your first gyms. So, Pokemon like Foy Coco is the way to go early on. But that's called Victory Road. Victory Road. So, we got the Path of Legends and we got Victory Road. Which, hopefully, there is a cave called Victory Road in this game. I didn't even think about that. All the older games had Victory Road and that was always like the hardest part. It was just like, yo, I gotta, gotta go through Victory Road today. But hopefully they did add it. We get a call on the intercom. They're like, yo, Jeans, come to the office. I got you. So we're going to head out here. And this is where we talk to Clavel. We go to the director's office. He's going to talk to us. And then again, we're going to be on our way. We're going to be out of here. We're going to say hasta la vista. And yeah, we can pretty much do whatever we want at that time. Hello, Sir Clavel. I wish there was a skip button. Like, dude, I would love to skip this stuff. But, look, but I like looking at like stuff in the background. He has fossils in the background. Pretty cool. There was a, there was like a tyrantrum footstep. I think it was dope.
I think he just talks about us about uh, the treasure hunt and the uh, Team Starfall stuff. Blah 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 blah. And then he's gonna be like AO jeans. Look at this TV right here. And that looks like an older flat screen, right? That ain't no 2022 flat screen. That ain't no 2022 flat screen. But this is, I believe, the professor, right? This is Professor Sada. Yeah, my name is Professor Sada. I carry out the Pokemon research within the great crater of Paldea. So around this area, there is a crater. And there's like, th everything's about the crater with this game. Like, I don't think you can access the crater until you beat all your missions and stuff. And then you can head in there. And uh, I think it has to do with uh, Maridon and Coridon, which is pretty cool. Well, she talks about that a little bit, and then she talks about my boy Karidon, and here he is. Look at my dude! <laughs> He's so sick. He's so dope looking. I love him. He just looks insanely cool. Like, top tier cool. Top tier cool. But she talks about him, and then I think she talks about uh being able to ride with him. And riding, like, makes this game. It really does. And I'm really glad they give it to us early on in the beginning. Because I could not imagine walking this place. Um, up until, say, like, mid-game. It would just take so long. It would just take so long. But we get this chick's contacts. We get her information. We're on the board, baby. <laughs> and then we're going to roll. So, yeah, this should be kind of like the end of talking. We kind of head out of the uh, place from here. And we dip. But, yeah. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm ready to go. Let's run it. Run it up. Oh, actually, wait, we have like one more thing to do. Yeah, dude, the school's so long for no reason. For no reason. I just remember we have to go back to like our dorm room and everything for absolutely no reason. But as we leave, Nemona should come over here. Yeah, 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 I get you. Are you still here, Jeans? Oof, getting called to the director's office. Has you land in trouble already? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. And she's gonna show me to my dorm room. It's fine. There's no need to go to the dorm room. Like, they added this for no reason. For absolutely no reason. You guys will see in a second. We go to the dorm room. She shows it. She shows me the dorm room. She's like, hey, yo, look, there's a bed. Maybe you should take a nap. So what am I going to do? Obviously, I'm going to have to take a nap. So get on out of here, lady. I'm done with you. Let me go take a nap. So she leaves. She hints at going to the bed. So obviously, we're going to go to the bed. And once you go to the bed, you take a nap, and the day kind of fast forwards, and then it starts tomorrow. Which, again, there was no point in adding this. And then once tomorrow comes, then you're able to leave. There's no point. But it is a pretty cool cutscene, because you get to see this uh, schooling with, like, nice little sky moving around, showing that the day is changing. Why, why, did, why did it change twice? Oh, no, it's changing three times. That's weird. <laughs> they should only made it change once. It's like three days ahead now. You can't go night three times. Crazy talk. Ding, dong, dong, ding. Dope. So they tell us to go to the schoolyard, and this is the end of it. They're going to explain to us about the treasure hunt, which the treasure hunt is basically go ahead and do whatever you want. That is what the treasure hunt is, essentially. It's the school letting you do what you want. So, Nimona comes in here. She's just like, hey, yo, let's go to the schoolyard. I say let's go, and once we head out the door, we're gonna we should be in the schoolyard. I don't think we have to head anywhere else. I know we gotta go to the schoolyard. Let's go. Where do you wanna go? Schoolyard. You can't go anywhere else. You can't go anywhere else. It kind of just forced you to go through it. But yeah, this is all just like introduction stuff. Hope you guys still did enjoy the video. You're chatting up, having a good time. And this guy talks for like an hour, I'm pretty sure, and you cannot skip it. You cannot skip it. But this is pretty much the end. It's awesome. really really dope but they did add back uh raid battles which i think is cool i kind of did like the raid battles i think they're a cool way to get pokemon especially rare pokemon and in this instance terrestrialization pokemon but there are some pokemon that are terrestrialized oh i actually have a really good question any guys know this let me know in the comment section down below but you guys know how there's like uh terrestrialized pokemon that are out in the wild if you get them say they're a Weasel Ice type. Say they're a Weasel Ice type. I don't know why I said Weasel Ice type. I think I saw one like on my other account. But say they're a Weasel Ice type. Can you breed those Weasels and will they all always be Ice types? Like say you, you like the type, the Terra typing that it has, but you don't like the ability that it has or the nature that it has. Can you breed down Terra types? 
I'm not too sure. Or would you just have to, from that point, just nature minute and bottle cap it up? I think that would probably be the, the best thing you do. Like ability capsule and nature minute. I think I think that, that would be the way to go. But if you can breed them, that'd be cool. Which I don't know if you can, because considering uh, they're doing an event for a dragon Charizard terror type, you can only get one per account. I doubt you can breed them. I doubt you can breed them. So. I know they made uh, bottle caps and all that good stuff a lot easier to actually get. So, it's going to be pretty solid. You can actually spend coins, money, Poke Dollars. So, once I find a way to get a lot of Poke Dollars, I'm going to be making a guide on that, bringing it to you guys so you guys can actually get all the bottle caps, all that good stuff, and kind of go from there. Yo, yeah, there's Cyclazar. Cyclazar. He's sick, dude. He's legit Maridon and Karidon, just lower form. <clears throat> Well, there it is. He says, take care. We just have to take the name Mono. Uno Mas. One more time. And then we, all, we are on out of here. Yo, look, look at that. Yo, you saw that? Her hair was glitched. It was just her floating hair. <laughs> just her floating hair. But now we are pretty much at this spot. We just talked to name Mono. She's going to lead us down here. That other guy's going to come talk to us. And we are gone. We are gone. There's too much talking. There is too much talking. But yeah, like I said, they're going to uh, let us know that we can actually go either way. And I'm going to go to the right, right off the rip. And I think I'm just going to sh show you guys the wild area real quick and show it on uh, Karidon before we actually hop hop off this episode and save it for the next episode. But yeah, trust me, guys. Next episode is going to be a banger. We get to do whatever we want. There's really going to be no talking. And we're going to be exploring the area of Paldea. Quick edit right there, guys. Just want to skip through all the rest of the talking for you guys. But something that we unlocked is going to be the ability to ride on Karidon right here, which is absolutely amazing. We have no other abilities for him besides just riding. So this is about all we can do right now. But it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So once we defeat more Titans, we are going to be able to start uh, actually going or unlocking new abilities like swimming, dashing, flying with him. But for now, we're just able to ride him like this. But... I'm gonna show you guys my map in just a second As you guys can see on my map We have so much stuff to do if you scroll all the way out you have all of these tasks So you got eight gym leaders you got eight path of legend titans you got Or not eight path of legend titans you have five path of legend titans and five starfall streets to do and for starters I'm gonna go to the first gym which is going to be over on the right side where name Mona is and I actually have the option to either go either way So it's pretty cool it's pretty cool. So I'm going to open up the store. I'm going to show you guys the world that we're going to be sporting in the next episode. And we're going to hop off here and uh, end today's video. But name owner calls us. She's like, hey, yo, I'm glad you're going this way. Head on over there. And now I can legit just walk through the door. And I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I am free. Introduction is now done. We can get rolling out strong with this game, which is absolutely amazing. But this world is immense. Every single section in this world is huge. You can spend hours upon hours upon hours actually exploring and just look at it. Just look at it. And the more abilities you get with uh, Karidon slash Maridon, the more you're going to be able to actually do. But we got a nice little Starly here. I'm actually going to fight one of them. Let's get it. And there's just so much to do, and I absolutely love it. What's good, Starly? I don't think I actually versus Starly yet. And we actually almost have our Foy Coco ready to evolve, which could be dope. I was trying to evolve it. Oh, we get a nice little KO there. Beautiful. Get out of here, Starly. A little 43 XP. And we can just keep on traversing through the world. Oh, yo, and there's Mareeps. Mareeps. What's goody? I got to actually KO one of the Mareeps. Sorry, Mareeps. Even though I love you. And a lot of people are putting uh, Ampharos on our team, which I don't blame you. Such a cool Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon. Just going to incinerate it. I'm going to get after it. Poor Mareep. Poor Mareep. He's going to Thundershock me, aren't you? Oh, no. You're caught off guard. I forgot. If you actually hit the Pokemon in the back with a Pokeball, they're going to be able to skip a turn, which is pretty cool. I'm going to take out lovely little Marie. Get that 62 XP. And just explore this area a tad bit. Got a ride on to hop on. You can hop on them at any time. You can jump with B to get up on some higher areas. Can I just go from there? Got all the Mareeps. The Mareeps are just chilling there. I'll grab this Pokeball and a Young Goose. Come here, dude. What's goody, dog? Battle it up with me. Battle it up with me. But yeah, this is basically the game from now on. It's Go do what you want, man. Which I'm a big fan of. Big, big fan of. I'll incinerate. Can we KO? We do. We get a crit. Lovely. Lovely. Big time damage. How close are we to evolve? We are pretty close. We are pretty close to evolve, which is pretty dope. I'm going to grab this. And I know there's a pack of Reaps. And I'm going to have to... Oh, there's a pack of Starlies. I'm just going to send uh, Play Coco to kind of tee off on him. Get some nice XP. Get some nice XP. I might evolve him before we finish off today's video. It could be pretty cool. 
Be a nice way to finish off today's video. Oh, I didn't even see you, Mareep. I'm sorry. Now you're going to have to die. Now I have to murder this poor Mareep. Sorry, Mareep. You have to go. You have to go. You must die. Fight. Die. Send it. Later. Cool. Well, I'll actually head up to this uh, upper area. It's core to explore. 62 XP. We're close to bomb. Let me actually do this. Hey, are you? Grab this. We got a Poke Doll, which is pretty cool. That boy Coco take you out. And just look at the area we can explore. We can just do anything we want. I'm gonna hop up here. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna hop up here again. I'm gonna hop up here again. I'm gonna send you for the automatic attack. And there's some Starlies over here, too. We're not Starlies. What are these Pokemon called? Fletchlings. A little bit of Fletchling action. We're gonna have him tee off on that. And what we got right here? A little Bounce Sweets. And Smolov, right? Actually, I don't think I've versus Smolov yet. I don't think I've versus Smolov yet, have I? A little Smolov action? I don't know if we have. I get the incinerator, and I think we might want to evolve my boy up. Did we do that? Did we give him the evolution? He's close. He's close. Level 16, he does evolve. Oh, yeah, we're going to evolve him. We're definitely going to evolve him. I'll put this versus Hopper right here. Just because I know I can one shot it. And I believe we'll have to take out one more Pokemon after this. Uh, later, Hopper. Give me the Evo. Give me enough XP. Come on, Hoppet. I know you want to. You're level 7. 35? You're close. You're close. And I'm just going to take out the Sunkern. Enough XP for you, buddy? Take it out. Get the XP. Get the XP, buddy. He leveled up. He leveled up. Is he going to evolve? Is he have to evolve in battle? Don't tell me it's evolve in battle. He has to evolve in battle. What happens if I finish finish a Pokemon here? Don't tell me he has to level up in battle like that. Come on now. Now I have to wait till level 17 for him to evolve. Ah, don't tell me. Let me let me finish off this battle, see if I'll evolve this way. Go ahead, Foy Coco. Hit the Evo. Hit the Evo. Are you kidding me? Now we have to wait till 17. I guess that's the next episode event guys but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live as the next episode we're gonna be exploring this brand new land and defeating our first gym thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next one peace out everybody